I don't know. Uh, Rev saying this was a tough spot for the women here following the first match, but at least it wasn't the time slot of death. That is a great point. That is a great point. Um, look, I don't think there is going to be a loser in this feud. Timeless Tony Storm is absolutely killing it and is continuing to prove to be one of the most entertaining things in all of wrestling. Um, <laughs> I mean, yikes for the kiss they did. Fair enough. Fair enough. Dale. Happy to have you here, pal. Um, and Deanna Perrazzo has immediately come in feeling like a major deal in this division. She feels like someone who is worth being champion and not everybody who's come in, although they've all come into a lot of buzz has had that same gravitas. So I think this feud is doing wonders for both women involved. They're making everybody feel important and everybody feel viable. Great way to move forward with this women's division that is continuing to better itself and, to con and continuing to feel more important. Uh, moving on, we had a backstage segment where AEW international champion Orange Cassidy is alongside Trent Beretta and his friend Rocky R Romero as they're being interviewed by Renee Paquette. Uh, they talk about the fact that Orange is going to be defending against uh, Ishii on, I believe, Collision. And uh, Trent said that's weird. Trent said that's weird. Uh, they asked for, when asked about an update on their other friend, their other best friend, Chuck Taylor, uh, Orange says Chuck is getting checked on, so they will go see him. That might be an important tool for later. Just 